Hello, it is that time of the year again to decorate for Christmas. This is my absolute favorite time of the year for decorating and I'm honestly a little bummed to start later than I had wanted to. I've just been so busy working on our kitchen reno, which I've been sharing a lot about on my Instagram and you all know how it is with home projects. They can go way longer than planned. So as you can see here, I'm just unpacking what we've got in our Christmas storage bin and opening this up kind of felt like Christmas morning itself because I forgot what we had in here. I realized that I have quite a collection of faux foliage like little trees and these baskets that I got during a post Christmas sale in Target. I wasn't sure if I was going to use a lot of these trees though because over the last year our real plant family has really grown especially after my brother moved in and I didn't want to add more visual clutter and I wanted to keep our Christmas decor pretty minimal again. Just like last year, I decided to focus just on the living room space and I really wanted to add a garland this year. So I was watching, I think it was an IG Reels by my friend Hunter from Hunter's Designs. I will make sure to link her channel below, but she had a great tip about how if you have a pretty small budget for your Christmas decor, a great impactful thing that you can add to still make your home feel like the holiday season and festive is a garland and garlands can be very inexpensive. So I found this one at TJ Maxx and I love how realistic the texture and color of the leaves look. I also love that it's got these frosted berries and pine cones on it. And Hunter, you were totally right. This instantly gave our living room a Christmas vibe. I also really wanted to create a Christmas village this year. I just find them so cute and magical and I used to think that I didn't have the surface area for it in our home but this shelf is actually so perfect for it. I got these battery powered ceramic homes from the Target dollar spot section. If you've been watching Christmas decor videos or seeing content you've probably run into these. Um, the big ones are five dollars each and the smaller ones are two for five dollars. Since it's hard to see some of the houses behind the garland, I gave them some height using decks of cards. Luckily, we have like a lot of decks of cards for some reason and enough to give all of these houses some height. I also scattered in these wooden and Cecil trees also from the Target Dollar Spot section. And you can't forget the fairy lights. It is now time for our tree. So I got this seven foot tall skinny tree from Michaels last year and I think the same one is on sale right now on their website. I definitely saw it being heavily discounted over Black Friday. I don't know if that's still going on but I'll make sure to link it for you guys below. So this tree is faux and it's described to have cashmere branches which I don't really know what that means, but it's kind of got this slightly frosted look, which I think makes it look very elegant compared to just like the dark green one. And I just love a good skinny tree for our home because it doesn't take up too much volume and it fits just right in this corner by our console table. I found this set of ornaments from TJ Maxx, it was in their like red tag sale section and this one was discounted because some of the ornaments were missing from the box and it was perfect for me because it had just the right amount that I needed. I fell in love with the mixed metals and I thought that the brass parts would really help tie the warm tones well. I've also already got some more natural ornaments at home and I thought these would add a really nice balance of that shiny and luxury to the tree. 
So if you've seen my Christmas shopping video, you heard me mention that I wanted to play with red this year and that's what I thought I wanted. This was like before I started gathering even more Christmas inspo and I even got a beaded garland from Target to match that red theme that I had in mind and also these red ornaments from the Dollar Tree. But after hanging these up, I realized that I didn't like them anymore and it just I don't know, it just didn't feel like me and I also felt like it didn't really match our home. So I ended up returning that beaded garland and then I decided to do something else with these ornaments. So as I was brainstorming what to do with them, I went ahead and hung these mini sparkly pine cones that were also from the Dollar Tree and I think these are so cute. Um, and then after giving it some thought, I decided that I still wanted some reddish warm tones but something more natural and clay like or even like a berry-ish tone so i decided to paint these i used acrylic paint and created this clay like color and mixed it with baking soda so that it gives it a matte textured finish um, and i'm so happy with how these turned out while I was painting those ornaments, Jason helped me create this vintage-like bell garland using these bells that I saved from last year. So I showed him how I wanted them on this um, hemp string and he tied the bells to the string and then afterwards I rubbed the bells with like a cool tone brown acrylic paint also with baking soda to give it like that very aged look. And when doing this, I kind of tried to mix the tones up so that it wasn't so consistent, so that it looks more naturally aged. So here it is the next day, everything has dried and I'm hanging that garland up. Um, after just wrapping it around the tree once, I went back in and adjusted the string so that it's more scalloped with the bells like dropping instead of it being too uptight, if that makes sense. And I think this way it looks a lot more effortlessly hung. And I really tried to mimic that like scalloped beaded garland look with it. I added these tassel ornaments that I made last year. I will tag the DIY video here and below in the description if you'd like a tutorial on these. I was so happy to find these little tree ornaments at the Crate and Barrel outlet like literally the morning of me finishing up this tree. <laughs> love love how these trees have a very matte finish and that berry tone goes so well with those DIY clay ornaments. So for the tree skirt, I'm just using this old curtain that I sometimes use as a film backdrop and then I added these boxes that I painted for our bookshelf decor like a while back and these are just like faux presents under the tree. I was considering adding like bows to it, but I actually really like just the minimal look of these. And lastly, I topped the tree off with a bow made out of a bunch of the same cotton strings that I used for those tassel ornaments to match. And I really wasn't sure how this was gonna turn out, but I actually think this is so cute and I'm so happy with it. It was like the perfect way to just tie everything together. After the tree, I hung up these faux fuzzy stockings from Target onto our windows using suction cup hooks. So I don't know what you call this kind of color. It's called tan on the website, but it has like a slight pink tone and I think this is such a pretty color. I had originally planned on hanging wreaths on the windows, but I feel like we've just got so much greenery and foliage happening in this space so I thought the stockings would be a lot nicer. I've got this woven bowl that my parents neighbor gifted me and I added in some extra ornaments into them as a coffee table decor piece. I threw in a bunch in there and I realized I added too many it just looked kind of not intentional so I ended up taking some out. 
And here I'm adding some pine cones to this wooden tray with the Earl Grey Bitters candle from Apotheke in the center. Um, I ended up moving this to the coffee table after because I felt like it tied the living room space a lot better, which you'll see at the end. And last but not least, we've got our console table. So I brought back our wooden vase and the faux branch that I used last year and then I stacked a few books with frames on top for the middle of the vignette and then for the left side I used these tapered candle holders that I got from Hobby Lobby and then these tapered candles that I love so much. My mom gave them to me when I visited her this year. I also brought out this basket that I also used last year and I'm glad I saved literally everything because they came really handy. Our fall cushion stayed since they match the tree really well. And the Christmas decorating is complete. It feels so cozy in our home. We just had a TV show marathon with our friends and we watched Hellbound on Netflix and our friend brought some hot chocolate, the tree lights were on, and it just felt so nice and cozy. It makes all the decorating so much more worth it when you can share it with your loved ones. I hope that this got you excited for this season. Let me know below if you have done your Christmas decorating yet and if you have, what is your theme? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more home decor videos from me. Next week, I will be releasing our kitchen reno project, so stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you a happy, healthy, and warm holiday season, and I'll see you in my next one. Thank you.